Um, hi, my name. You want to say hi? <laughs> I'm Layla Nations. Um, I'm from Dallas, Texas, and my mom's name is Nidu. Um, 31. Gemini. <laughs> I have to throw it in there. I was the first person in my family born in the United States, so I, um, my, my family really wanted to instill like a type of Iranianness in me, I guess. I mean, not I guess, for sure. They for sure. I didn't know that I didn't live in Iran until I went to like kindergarten because my family, they like ended up buying um, a plot of land outside of Dallas and I grew up with my grandparents on this plot of land, kind of like Beverly Hillbilly style. Yeah, I thought that I was living in, in Iran until I went to school and I learned English when I was like in kindergarten. The first like 10 years of my family living in the US they were very much just trying to like assimilate in a really weird way, but also hold on to an identity. So like, it was definitely othering because my grandparents up until I was born were trying to like establish themselves in this town. They like dealt with a lot of serious, serious racism. Um, and be because they were Iranian and so when I came into the picture, it was just an extension of that. So I don't remember not not like hearing people like talk slowly to my family or or whatever. Like the hostage crisis happened in the '80s, and people hated Iranians. And then there was like this fear of Iranians. And then there was this like like Orientalism that happened where people like loved Iranians because like Iranians here like hated their country um, in the 90s. And then 9-11 happened and all of a sudden we had to like defend being Iranian but also really hate the country. Like I, I remember my family um, getting a notice that the FBI would be like doing an investigation and that they were just like watching us and that we should cooperate. Cause that's when the axis of evil was like announced, right? Like we all of a sudden were like put in this thing. Something that we forget here is that Iran is still a democracy. And again, like there are problems with the government, but there are problems with our government here. I don't see my identity as being two different things. I see my identity, I mean like I'm a Iranian, American woman. Like I have so many markers and it all makes who I am. Sometimes I feel like it's a battle with the world, but I don't ever feel like it's a battle within me. I be I've become more comfortable with with who I am as I've gotten older. Looking around at my house, like I have like a lot of like Iranian stuff here. And I'm very into cooking Iranian food and like being very into my identity. And one of my friends told me, he was like, I like how Iranian you are. It's so performative. And it really has stuck with me. It's hard to come to peace with that, that like everything that I do is a performance because it feels so real. Like Iranians here who've lived here for a long time or who were born here, we have a personal nostalgia of our own lived experience, but we've inherited our family's memories. And therefore our wanting to hold on to that, being first generation, is performative and that's okay it's okay because what we're creating is a whole new culture